What's up guys, on this weekend's video, I get to share something I'm super excited to share with all of you guys. You guys always ask me on Instagram, what do I shoot with, what lens do I use, what do I edit with, computer. There's so many questions I have to answer and I'm going to show you guys everything, including my desk setup. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So let's go ahead and start with the foundation of all of this, which is the desk. It's actually a very funny story. I had a small Mickey, I think it's called, from Ikea desk, which was super tiny. And what I ended up doing was removing the top, removing the middle, and I bought a Le Mans 78 inch long table, as you guys can see. And the table was huge. All I did was use the brackets on the left and right side, as you guys can see, and I built this desk custom to my liking and the perfect size for my setup. I love how I have my drawers, I can hide a lot of cables, but most importantly, I can put my PlayStation and since it has an open back, it has airflow going through it. Now, let's move into one of the most important parts in my setup, which is my monitor. My LG 4K HDR monitor is insane. It still blows my mind how true the colors are. I love using this monitor for video editing, photography editing, and even for gaming. It's so good. I have it on a desk mount stand, which allows me to hide the cables through the mount stand. And what I love about this stand is that I can move my monitor up, down to the sides, anywhere I want to. And I'm such a tall person that I really have it high. And it honestly works great the way it is. What makes it even better is that this monitor allows me to power my laptop and convert my laptop into a desktop by just one USB-C cable, which blows my mind. I own a MacBook Pro 15 inch, I think it's a 2018 model, and honestly exceeds my expectations, works great, no lag whatsoever. I also have a vertical stand, and this vertical stand is not just for looks, it helps so much when it comes to cooling. Air goes right through the bottom and it helps when you're exporting videos and things like that. It works so good. Now, another thing I love about this setup is the fact that with just one USB-C cable, I'm able to make dual monitors and work productively. I open my laptop and it automatically converts into two monitors, which is awesome. For the keyboard, I have a RGB mechanical Dyra keyboard and it is so good. It switches colors to any color you might want it is a mechanical keyboard, so the noises coming from this keyboard are just amazing. It is a 60% keyboard, so it fits my simple and clean look for my desk. For the mouse, I have a Logitech G602 wireless gaming mouse. And even though it is a gaming mouse, it is so accurate when it comes to photo editing that I love it. You can adjust your sensitivity, even the buttons on the side to whatever function you will want to have it. This is honestly the perfect mouse. You might be asking yourself, why does he have such a big TV on top of his setup? My bed is actually right behind my desk. So I have a Samsung 55 inch 4K Ultra HD TV and I love this monitor. It's great to watch YouTube, Netflix, and even play video games sometimes. Have some fun, relax, lay down, and not stress so much about it. Or maybe not stress so much about it. No, no, no. For accessories to the desk, even though I like everything super simple and clean, I did add a salt lamp. I also added a candle, mahogany tea wood, high intensity from White Barn. It is so good. I also added a fake plant from Ikea. For the LEDs in my desk setup, you can't go wrong with this. I bought this in Amazon for like 13 bucks and honestly, it works so good. It adds the vibe to the room, gives it color, and it just changes everything, to be honest. I love the fact that you can switch them and you can even have a party in your room if you wanted to, which is crazy. For my wire management, I just use an Ikea rack and put it underneath the desk. Even though it's not 100% perfect, I don't see any wires, so it keeps me happy and content with the way I have my setup. Let's move into one of the number one questions I get is my camera gear. What do I record with? And it's honestly very simple. I have a Sony a7R Mark III, 
with a 24-70F 2.8 lens. This camera is honestly a little bit of an overkill for what I do with cars and all of that, but I love the quality I get from this lens. I get to shoot at 42 megapixels, so if I wanna crop or zoom in in a picture, I could do that. And it's honestly such a great camera. Now for my POVs and when I'm on the track, I do use a GoPro Hero 8 that I just bought and it's honestly super good. 4K footage, hyper smooth 2.0. Honestly recommend it for anybody that's building a car and is tracking their car. For my tripod, I use a $13 Amazon's Basics tripod and it works fine. It does the job. I have two of them and I do not complain whatsoever. I also have a gimbal, a Ronin M, that I just bought. So you guys have never seen any footage with this gimbal. So don't think that this is something you need. I just bought it, so stay tuned for so much smoother and better content. My number one camera, best thing I own is my iPhone. 4K, 60 frames per second. I honestly love this thing. This is all you need to start. And I mean that when I say that. Now for audio, I use a Rode VideoMic Go. This is actually what I'm recording from right now so you guys could kind of hear an example. I love this mic, it is not battery powered and it honestly just gets the job done. There might be other little things that I have here and there like a CPL filter, suction cup, but to be honest, that's pretty much it. I try to keep my camera gear as simple as possible. And the less you have, like for me at least, the less you have, the better it is because once you start buying a whole lot of things, things start getting complicated and you don't even really end up using it. So keep it simple. Like I said, you don't even need all of this with an iPhone. You can literally start. That's exactly how I started everything in my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything that I showed you guys in this video, the monitor, the camera, you name it, is linked down below so you guys can purchase it if you guys want to and if you guys liked it, just to make it easier for you guys, you guys could just click the link and purchase it there. If there is one thing that I want you to take out from this video is that you can literally start with just a phone. I used to be the believer that you couldn't start with just a phone, you have to buy a camera, you have to do this. But now that I do even have the camera, I find myself using my iPhone the most, which is crazy. I don't know if my, one of my best friends, Nestor, always used to tell me like, you don't need a professional camera, like you could just literally do this with your iPhone. And he showed me a lot of people on Instagram, YouTubers that are literally based on doing content with your iPhone, and you can literally do that. So don't see this and tell yourself that you can't do something, because literally with what you have on hand, you could probably do anything that you want to. So don't use excuses. Don't use equipment as an excuse to not creating content. Try to find a way, because like I said, myself, I use my iPhone for almost 95% of my content. Only for the cinematic stuff, I do use my camera, but everything else, I honestly use my iPhone. So I'm gonna end the video there. I hope you guys found this video informative, that it helps somebody out. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button for me. I post content every single weekend, no exception whatsoever. So like always, keep grinding. I'll see you guys next weekend and take care.